Welcome to this Vinyasa Yoga class. My name is Natalie. I will lead you through a 45 minutes Vinyasa flow. All my poses are suggestions. You can always change a pose according to your own needs. This class is suited for all levels, from beginners to advanced. So come and sit on your mat. Let's start. You can also sit on a block like I'm doing or on a cushion. When your hips are elevated, it might be easy for you to open the hips and sit in what we call an easy seat or easy seated pose. Close your eyes. Start to relax your legs, let the floor carry your body so your legs can relax now. You don't get your spine stretching it out through the crown. Relax your shoulders, relax your face and start to draw all your attention inwards. Focus on your breath. Notice when the air goes in and out of your body. And let all the thoughts about what has or hasn't happened yet slowly go to the background so you can focus on the now. Breathing in and out. All your attention on yourself. Then make your breaths a bit deeper and longer. Breathing in and out through your nose. If you're familiar with the Jai breath, you can practice it now. If you don't know how to do it, you could start by focusing on breathing in and out through the nose during the whole class. And the Jai breath is tightening the back of your throat just a little bit. And then sucking in the air through the windpipe. And letting it go in and out, just as slowly. When you do that, you'll create a hissing sound, which is louder than your thoughts, which can be very meditative. It also helps you warm up your body faster. And it can give you a great feeling of confidence because you control when you breathe in, when you breathe out. Then set an intention for yourself. What would you like to focus on during this class? Then lift your Mula and Uddiyana Bandha, as we call them in yoga philosophy. This is lifting your pelvic floor muscles up and pulling in your lower abdominals a little bit in and up towards your navel. So they are gentle squeezes of the muscles for about 30 out of 100%. And it will help you keep the energy inside your body and they can protect your lower back in some of the poses. And you would like to do that the whole class. So tightening Mulan Uriana Bandha. If it's your first time, you can just focus on breathing in and out through the nose. And after a couple of classes, worry about the Mulan Uriana Bandha.
and slowly open the eyes. If you're sitting on something, you can gently put it to the side. And then let's start with bringing our right hand to the opposite knee. I'll be your mirror image. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, gently rotate the upper body. Look at over your left shoulder. And then on your next inhalation, bring your left arm up by your ear forward. And when you exhale, come and sit up straight. Now cross your arms and then from here, do eagle arms. Inhale, lifting them up. And exhale, bringing them down and release. Let's try that on the other side. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, rotate your upper body. Look back over your right shoulder. Then inhale, bring your right arm up and forward. Feel the stretch in the side of your body. Keep your sitting bones on the floor. And then sit up and cross your arms. So you can do eagle arms like this. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bring them down and release. Other side. Right hand to left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, bring your arm up and over. Stretch the side of your body. And exhale, sit up and cross your arms. And bring your hands like this. Inhale up. Exhale down. And other side. Last one. Left hand to right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, roll. Take gaze over your shoulder. Inhale. Stretch the side of your body. Sitting bones on the floor. Exhale. Sit up nice and straight. Cross your arms. Arms like the eagle pose, inhale, and exhale, arms down. Then place your hands on your knees and gently start to make circles with your upper body. When you inhale, your chest is forward, and then when you exhale, you have a round back, you gently hang on the knees, and then the other side. It can be as slow as you like to. If I go too fast for you, you can do everything a bit slower. That's totally fine. Try and follow your own breath. Inhaling forward, exhaling back part of the circle. Last one. And exhale. Then slowly come on all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under your hips. Spread your fingers widely, push away from the floor, and then inhale over the chest forward, <laughs> lift your tailbone, and exhale, push out your spine towards the ceiling, gaze towards the navel. Inhale, open chest, look up. Exhale, push out your back. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And from a neutral spine, wag your tail as if you're a dog. To really shake out your lower back and your hips. Then from here, come into child's pose. Bring your big toes together, hips towards the heels. If you can, you can place your forehead on the floor. Otherwise, it might rest in the air. If you can touch the floor with your forehead, a couple of times, go from left to right as if you're massaging your forehead. Letting go of any thoughts or feelings that might arise. Emptying your mind, focusing all your attention on the now, on your breath. And then bring your arms by your sides. And exaggerate the breath. On the inhalation, make your ribcage really, really big. Expanding it to all sides, and when you exhale, gently let it come back to center. And again, inhale. And exhale. Last one. And then, slowly 
and roll up for the round spine and then roll down again as if your spine is super flexible. Up and down, up with a round bed, down with an arched back. Come up one more time. And then from here, bring your right foot forward. Your left hand under your shoulder and open up your body towards your right leg. Now make big circles with your right arm. On the inhalation, opening the chest towards the ceiling. And when you exhale, notice how the chest turns down towards the floor. Two more big circles, long like in your arms. And exhale. Now place your right hand on the inside of the right foot. Knee and shoulders come together. You can also do this um, on a block or on your fingertips so you get higher and then open up towards the other side and again make big circles inhaling bringing the arm up exhaling bringing the arm down two more inhale and exhale inhale exhale last one inhale exhale then we're gonna swap to the other side left foot in front right hand under your shoulder rotate your upper body to the left and make big circles you can choose if they're forward or backward circles just do what feels good it's a nice gentle warming up so make nice big movements and you can as slow go slow as you like and then we're going to go to the other side. Now the left hand goes on the inside of the foot, knee and shoulder together. Open up, maybe on your fingertips or hand a bit higher. And make big circles. Noticing how your upper body rotates when you do this last circle. And from here, come back on all fours for downward dog. Tuck your toes under, bring your hips to heels, fingers widely spread, middle, middle fingers pointing forward and from the base of your index finger and thumb, you push away from the floor, stretching out your arms just fine, sitting bones up in the sky. And then gently, you can bring the heels down one by one. Again, you can do this as slow as you like. Focus on your breath, long and deep breaths in and out through the nose. And on your inhalation, bring both heels up and exhale, let them go down. They don't have to touch the floor. Inhale, lift and exhale down. One more. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Now we make very small movements in the shoulder area. So gently round the shoulders, lift them up, and then bring them down, bring the chest towards your big toes. So that's it, this the exhale, round, and then inhale, chest towards your toes. Exhale, long shoulders. Inhale, chest towards your big toes. Exhale, round shoulders. And then again, chest towards your big toes. Then drop the heels to the left so you feel the stretch on the right side of your body. And then bring the heels back to center to the other side. Stretch on the left side of the body. Heels back to center, look towards your hands, jump or step forward. And then inhale, come up halfway, stretch out your legs. Your hands can also be on the shins. So your upper body is also in a long line, stretching from your tailbone to the crown of your head. 
And then when you exhale, fold forward with your knees bent so it's easier to fold. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, straighten your legs, lengthen your spine. And exhale, bend forward with bent knees. Last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Then open the feet. Make them di hip distance apart and cross your arms. Let your neck and shoulders relax. Your head can rest. And then sway your upper body from left to right, releasing any tension in the back side of the body. The deeper you bend your knees, the easier it is to do it. Then hands to bend the knees a bit deeper, hips more towards the back, relax your arms and slowly roll up, pressing the feet down in the floor, stepping the feet together in front of the mat for sun salutations or your own variation. Inhale, bring your arms up, look up, and exhale, slowly bow forward. Inhale, up halfway, and exhale, jump or step your feet back into Chaturanga, and choose onto your belly for Cobra, or with straight arms into Upward Dog. Exhale, lift from your core, push through the hands, in downward facing dog for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and Five, move towards your hands, jump a step forward, inhale up halfway, lengthen the spine, exhale fold if you like with bend knees. Inhale all the way up, pressing the feet down, stretching out upwards to your fingers, and exhale, bringing your arms down. We do that again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, choose your option, cobra or upward dog. Inhale, exhale, five breaths, one, two, towards your hands, jump a step forward, inhale up halfway, exhale fold, inhale come all the way up, and exhale, bring your arms down. We will start in warrior B, so you could step your left foot back and come in warrior B to the front of the mat, I'll show it from the side like this. So it's easier to see what I'm doing on the camera. So your right foot is in front and your hips open in this leg. So your left foot, the rear foot, can either be parallel to the short side of the mat or it could be tucked in a little bit, let's say in almost a 45 degree angle towards the left top of your mat. Then bring your arms up and then make sure your right knee is above the ankle and then pull the lower ribs in so your upper body is nice and tall, shoulders above your hips. You gaze over your right fingertips and let's stay here for three breaths. One, two, three. 
and three. Reverse your warrior, right hand palm comes up, chest points forward and then lifts up left hand on the back of your leg. One breath here. And then slowly come into your side angle pose with your right elbow on your knee and your left arm by your ear. Stretching that arm out into your fingertips all the way from the foot to your fingertips. Opening the chest up towards the ceiling for three more breaths. One. Two. And three. Inhale, slowly come up into your reverse warrior. Right hand palm up, chest up to the sky. Nice deep breath here. And then come back in your warrior B. So you straighten the legs now. I prefer to bring my feet a little bit closer together for Utita Tikonasana triangle pose. And you would like to step your hips on top of each other. So pull the left hip back, right hip forward. Open the chest up, shoulders above each other. If you can, you can place your hands on the outside of the right foot. It can be on the shin, on the foot itself. So make sure your upper body is not here in front, but it's over your right leg. So three more breaths. One. Two and three. Look down, bend that right knee. Slowly come up into your reverse warrior. And this time for three breaths. One, keep lifting up through your chest. Tighten your core. Lift your mula and Uddiyana Bandha. Two and three. Come through your warrior B and swap sides. So your right toes go in, your left toes go out. Position yourself, find your warrior. So pull in the lower ribs, bring your knee above your ankle, gaze over your left fingertips for three breaths. One, two, And three, hand palm facing up, chest forward and lift, stretching out for one deep breath in reverse warrior. And then come into your side angle pose. The left elbow and the left knee, right arm, you can also stretch it like this. And then open your chest up towards the sky, like a long line from your foot all the way into your fingertips with your pinky towards the floor. Two more deep breaths. One. And two. Inhale, slowly come up into your reverse warrior. And then from here, straighten both legs for triangle. If you like, you could step your feet closer together. Stack your hips on top of each other, shoulders on top of each other. Your upper body over your left leg. If you feel tension in your neck, you can also look forward or to the floor, making sure there's no tension in the neck. Two more breaths. One. And two. Bend that left knee. Find your way into warrior B and then into your reverse warrior. This time for three breaths. One. Two, and three, come back to warrior B. And from here, step your feet together in front of the mat. Now step your left foot behind, your right foot stays forward, and keep lifting the left heel off the floor and push through it. So you feel a good stretch on the front of the left hip. Arms go up, and then on your inhalation, you straighten the leg. Exhale, you bend it three times. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now bring the left knee on the floor, left hand on the floor, and just at the end of warming up, open your upper body like this. You can also do it with the knee off the floor. You can choose three breaths. One, you can also you can open further like this. Two, and three. And then place both hands on the mat. Left knee back on the floor. And then walk your right foot to the edge of the mat and point your right toes to the side. Let the hips come down gently. We're gonna go into lizard's pose. So maybe you can be here with your arms bent. Maybe you can even go further and be on your underarms or go even further when you bring your head on the floor. So wherever you are, now focus on the stretch in the left, left and the right hip. Whenever you exhale, release the tension you feel there. Two more breaths. One and two. And then place your hands back on the floor. Walk that foot to the middle line. And then flex your toes. It might be that you need to sit more up like this. When your shoulders are above the hips, above the knee, like this at the beginning, that's where you want to start from. Then you can see if you bend, can bend forward with a long spine. If you need to arch to do it, then you need to stay up and stretch out your spine. Maybe you can already have your hands on the floor, you can use blocks. Or maybe they can slide forwards, they can also slide backwards. Whatever your level is and you feel comfortable doing. Now let's stay here for two more deep breaths. One. And two. And then from here, you can choose. You can either stay up here to do another opening of the hip flexor, kind of like we did in the high lunge. You walk the foot a little bit forward and then you tuck your tailbone under so you feel a good stretch in the front of the left hip. If you can do splits, you can also go all the way to splits or maybe something like this, halfway to where you are at the moment. Let's stay there for three more breaths. One. Two. And three. As slowly as possible. From to all fours and from there into downward dog. If you need to rest out in child's pose, that's also an option, please do. Otherwise rest out in downward facing dog for three breaths. One. Two. And three. Step your left foot forward. Come up with your upper body. Push through that right heel. Shoulders above your hips. So you feel the stretch here in the front of the right hip. Arms up. If that's too much, you can also place them in front of your heart. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, then place your right knee on the floor, right hand underneath your shoulder, and open up your upper body, if you can, with the right knee off the floor. If you want, you can twist even further or stay here. Three more breaths. One, two, and three. 
Place both hands on the floor, right knee back on the floor, and then the left foot on the edge of your mat with your toes pointing all the way out to the side. Come into your lizard pose, maybe with your elbows bent, maybe arms on the floor, wherever you are. Feel the stretch in the left and the right side. Breathe into it. Releasing all the tension when you exhale for three more breaths. One, two, and three. Slowly bringing your upper body back up. Walk your left foot to the middle line. We'll come into your Ardha Hanumanasana, your half split pose. So you could start like this, with your shoulders above the hips, hips above the knee, and gently see where you can be bending forward with a long spine from the tailbone to the crown of your head. And if you can go further, that's fine. It's never competition. You are where you are today. And breathe into your stretch where you feel it the most. Bring your inhalation there. And when you exhale, let the tension release. One more deep breath here. And then slowly come up. Place the left foot on the floor. If the foot is underneath the knee, place it a little bit more forward. Gently bring the hips tiny bit forward and then mostly tuck your tailbone under so you feel the stretch here. You can stay here for three breaths or you can take it into your spits, whatever you prefer. Three breaths. One. Two. And three. Slowly bring the front leg back. And then rest it out in child's pose, bringing your big toes together, hips to heels, and your forehead towards the floor. Roll your forehead from left to right. You can touch the floor, massaging your forehead, and then placing your arms by your side, and focusing on your breath, try to exaggerate it, expanding your ribcage a lot on your inhalation, and just to slowly exhale on your exhalation. One more deep breath. And slowly roll up. And then place your legs in front of you. We're going to start with bringing the left knee towards our chest and then opening it to the side. You want to make sure you don't feel any tension in the left knee. So you might want to put a block or a cushion under the left. You can also bring the foot to the side or a bit to the front to make sure that knee feels soft and relaxed. Flex your right foot, both sitting bones on the floor. And then inhale, stretch out your arms as if somebody's pulling on them, making your upper body long. And then see if you can bend forward while your hips are rotating with you. So not here in your upper back, but from the pelvis, you're rotating. Maybe your hands can be on the floor, on your lap, maybe you can wrap around, wherever you are. Stay there for three more breaths. One. Two and three. Inhale slowly, come up. 
Now bend the right leg, that was straight, and see if you can place your left foot over it on the outside of the knee. It can also be on the inside if you can't get to the outside. And bring your arm around that leg. Keep the hips where they are and from the navel upwards, rotate your upper body. If you want to take it a notch further, you can see if you can wrap around your back with your arm through the leg or level two in between with the elbow on the outside of the knee. Three more breaths. One. Two. And three. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the legs. We're gonna do the other side. Right knee to the chest. Open it up to the side. If you want, place it on a block or a cushion. Flex the legs, the left foot. Feel your quadriceps tighten. Lengthen and bow forward with the hips. Rotating might also be here that your hands are behind you and you stretch out your upper body. You can already feel the stretch in the back of the left leg. That's fine. Wherever you are, three more breaths. One, two, and three. Slowly come up. Now bend your left leg, the one that was straight, and then place the right leg over it, if possible, otherwise in front of you. Choose your option, level one, arm around, level two, elbow on the outside, level three, arm through your legs and wrap and grab behind. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, rotate. So the hips don't move. Only from the navel upwards, your vertebrae are rotating mostly in the chest area. Two more breaths. One. And two. Inhale forward. And exhale. Release. Now place the soles of the feet together and a little bit away from you. So your legs are making a diamond shape. And then slowly bow forward in this position. Your back can be round. You might want to place your arms underneath your legs or rest them on top. You can also use a block to rest your head on if you can already reach the block on the height you need. So choose your option. Three more deep breaths here. One. Two. And three. Slowly come up. Stretch out your legs. Shake them out a little bit. And then with your feet on the floor, bring the knees from left to right. Neutralizing the hips. And then I'm looking at the time and it's time for our deep relaxation. <sighs> time always goes so fast when we do yoga. <sighs> Come and lie down on your bed. Come to the beginning with you and later I'll sit up so I can read the story but please remain lying down if you're not comfortable in this deep relaxation lying down you can actually also do it sitting up you can also choose if you like to keep your eyes closed but if you're not comfortable with that you can keep them open and stare to a point into the distance your legs are long, feet are hip distance apart, your knees and toes are rolling to the sides, your hand palms are facing up, your arms are 
a bit away from the body and lift your chest just a centimeter so your shoulder blades come off the floor bring them a little bit closer together and lie down so you're fully on your shoulder blades turn your head to the left and the right back to center chin to chest and relax your head on the floor relax your body further and further let the body take over the breath and become an observer instead of doing something just being Noticing how the air goes in and out of your body. Noticing the mind. Letting any thought or feeling that comes up go. Slowly drift away and bring your attention back either to the breath or to a point you pick on your body where you can focus all your attention on. Now keep practicing being mindful, staying present in the now for the next minute and then my voice will return. magic things patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. People with one sensory deficit often develop heightened abilities in their other senses. Blind people, for example, may have superior hearing skills. We used to think that that was because blind people pay more attention to what they heard and leaned on that input more heavily than sighted people. But now we know that they are using their brains differently. Thanks to the brain's ability to change and adapt with experience, an attribute called neuroplasticity, it can literally rewire itself. One study showed that people who are born deaf use areas of the brain normally devoted to sound for processing touch and vision instead. Mindfulness can have a similar effect. The more we train our senses through awareness, the more our brains adapt to process the additional input. Essentially, we develop super sensory powers, which in turn reveal a world of magic. Now think to yourself, Awareness reveals a world of magic. Gently bring your awareness back to the room where you are, back to your body. If you like to lie down a bit longer, please do. You can pause the video. Otherwise, gently move your fingers and your toes. Stretch out your arms as if you're waking up. And then slowly roll into one side of your body and stay there for a moment. So 
slowly come up to a sit so we can end the class together with a bow. Come sit, hands in front of your heart, close your eyes one more time. And think of your intention you set at the beginning of the class. And then think of somebody you love, you would like to give something to. It can be anything, a hug, some attention, a poem, <laughs> a present, anything you're thinking of now. And then as you bow forward, in your mind, send it to the person you're thinking of. And then slowly come up. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. Have a nice rest of your day and see you next time. Bye.